so in here I would like to explain um, you know there was a previous video and I left a link to the OVA um, which is a link uh, to download so this video explains how to install Nginx basically and I said in the video if you uh, would like to download the ready-made which is what that video explains a ready-made OVA in here okay click on that link so you click on that link that will take you to this page you start downloading it. so you download the OVA it will be downloaded as a zip file so once that's downloaded we're going to show you how to run this OVA basically I'll show you uh, how to run this one on ESXi and those who have also uh, Oracle uh, VirtualBox VBox I'll show you how to run that one on the VBox as well so we're going to wait for this download to finish and we will start the process of showing you how to run this OVA and how that works. Once the download finishes, uh, we can see that the file is downloaded here. We will extract it locally, so extract all. That would be copied to the destination. We will then use that file to upload. We're going to show you once that is done. So the file has been unzipped. You can see OVF, all of these files. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna install this one on the ESXi. Let's go for that. Now we go for the virtual machine. So this is the ESXi. So what we're gonna do now in this case, we're gonna go for this and create a virtual machine. We already have an OVF, OVA file. So we're gonna go next. So what we need to do, just call it um, test Nginx, yeah? Um, any name can can do obviously we'll go here we will get to the download this is the file or these are the files you okay, just um, copy so next next we leave uh, uh, so we leave everything as is no problem and we will move on and finish the installation so we're going to let the installation run for the time being. Uh, please notice in the upload, uh, I did update, uh, I did provide the username for, and password for that machine. So username will be my name, Nafid, password, my password. Of course, you can change it later. But once we log in with these usernames and password or the credentials, uh, we're going to see how that works, basically. So we're going to wait for the installation to, uh, to complete. So now we're going to start the machine. We did uh, import this OVA into the ESXi and we're going to start the machine. The machine should start with no problems. Uh, one important thing when you import the machine, actually, when you exported it initially, you had the specs. So, like in this case, 8 gig, 48 gig, um, gigabyte of, uh, of RAM and so on for CPU. Now, of course, you can always change these um, settings, but we will leave it as is. That's the name here. And we said uh, the password, uh, my password, as I have uh, shown you in the video itself. So when you go, uh, go back to this, and my password is my password. That's the one. So we're going to use these credentials to log into the machine right now. So... that has looked into this machine so now we are part of it obviously you can update and do the rest of the stuff so that showed you how to import ova into a6i the next uh, part of this one is to show you how to import the same ova so if you have a, a home lab say for example a simple setup um, and you don't have the infrastructure like asx and you'd like to install this one on uh, on a virtual box, which is uh, a VBox um, simulation or a virtualization platform. Um, so we can import this, also this machine, uh, with the settings that are on that machine itself. Obviously, on this one, you can uh, look at things like, you know, what's the IP address before I show you that. Um, so we just open the terminal just to double check a few things. Um, so IP address show probably that's uh, one of the commands you can use and uh, the ip is 192.168.1.200 so in this case we probably need to change um 
we need to change some of the settings on the machine. So the connectivity should be on different um, photo groups. So I'm going to go for for this. That will match the IP range. And uh, you can clearly see that we are able, we should be able to bring, um, say, the default gateway, which is 192.168.1.1. 192.168.1.1. And I should be able to bring um, Google.com, for example. We get a response here, but that's IBV6. We um, we can bring IBV4 here, and you get a response from IBV4 IP address. So everything working, and you can see how easy it is to import that uh, virtual uh, appliance. So in this case, we have uh, brought up um, the uh, um, in a virtual box from Oracle. So this is a well-known platform. I can import, so I create a machine. I can import the machine as an OVA. So we can um, machine. You can add a, a virtual machine if you would like to do, obviously. Um, you can import an appliance. So we can go ahead this way. So... Uh, the source is the local file system, so we're going to just search for our file, the one in the downloads, and the one we already unzipped, and uh, we can go for um, OVF. So, there we go. Um, so, let's have a look at this. Uh, the name we, um, it will be picked up from the actual name of the, the one we have created before, um, when, before we exported it as OVF uh, or uh, OVA. The same specs, as you can clearly see, you can change these settings if you would like to change them. That's not a problem. Um, machine virtual, uh, you know, the folder for this, um, for, you know, the base folder for the machine where all the files are stored is here. Um, you go and import now the appliance here. Um, so let us, uh, we're going to wait for, for this to finish. So if we start this machine, probably it might be a bit slow because of the uh, base memory is high. We can make changes, but let's see what the machine looks like when it starts. So machine has started now. We can log in. Okay. Let's open the terminal. Don't worry about the upgrade grade because that's not our focus. So let's go for the terminal go and open a terminal and verify that we have uh, reachability. So again, IP address show is one of the commands that you can use and. Um, this guy now, uh, let's see where the IP address is located. But, uh, we need to go to NetPlan. Let's double check with the NetPlan. So the IP address says 192.168.1.200. So and the gateway is 192.168.1.254 uh, with the proper uh, DNS servers. So we're going to close that file. Let's try to Bing somewhere. We're getting a response, which is perfect. And this Bing, say, for example, let's say Bing for uh, Google.com. We get a response as IPv4 from Google.com. Perfect. So everything seems to be working. Now we can verify also that can that we can uh, SSH to this specific um, uh, server, obviously, and um, uh, and perform certain tasks like updates, connectivity. This is again. Remember, this is now running Nginx, which is basically a web service, simply speaking. Yeah. Um, Remember, one of these things like, you know, network settings, so you click on network, make sure that it depends what you're looking for, but I've done nothing. 
and to find out the netted IP address will be in file to find the netted IP address so we go file host network manager you'll find what is the IP address it's enabled uh, but we assigned um, you know 192.68.56.1 so basically this virtual machine is mapped to that or is netted to that IP address so externally our machine sees 192.168.56.1